if you believe household robots are still 20 or 30 years away, this video might completely change your perspective. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Today, we're not talking about electric cars, not robo-taxis, and not a flashy robot built just for show. Instead, we're diving into the most detailed and realistic look yet at Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk has called this Tesla's most important product ever, even more important than electric vehicles or full self-driving. In just the last two years, Tesla Optimus has gone through massive changes. What started as a shaky and limited prototype has evolved into a robot that now operates inside Tesla factories. Earlier versions still relied on remote human control, but that is no longer the case. Elon Musk has confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 is approaching full autonomy, meaning no remote operators and no constant supervision. This new version brings human-level hand movement, the ability to learn tasks simply by watching videos, and enough endurance to work for 8 to 10 hours at a time. Within the next couple of years, Optimus could begin reshaping the global workforce in ways we have never seen before. In this video, we're answering three big questions. Why is Optimus Gen 3 a real breakthrough and not just another promise? What are the five key upgrades that put it ahead of every humanoid robot on the market today? And how is Tesla able to build it at a cost similar to a used car? One of the most shocking claims Elon Musk has made is the production cost. According to Musk, Tesla can manufacture Optimus for around $10,000. That number sounds unbelievable when you compare it to other humanoid robots, which often cost between $150,000 and $250,000. With Gen 3, Elon Musk believes Optimus has crossed a major turning point. It is no longer a semi-automated machine. It is designed to work on its own inside Tesla factories without remote control or constant human input. This marks the shift from experimentation to real deployment. To understand why this matters, it's important to be clear about one thing. Optimus Gen 3 is not just a small upgrade over Gen 2. This is not about smoother walking or better hands alone. It represents a fundamental change. Until now, every version of Optimus needed human assistance to function safely. That was not a failure. It was necessary. The real world is unpredictable, and teaching a robot to operate independently in it is incredibly difficult. Gen 3 changes that. Elon Musk has clearly stated that this version is designed to think, decide, and act on its own. This one change unlocks everything else. Without full autonomy, robots cannot scale, cannot be affordable, and cannot truly be useful in daily life. Earlier versions of Optimus could walk, lift objects, and perform basic tasks, but humans were always correcting mistakes behind the scenes. That limitation kept Optimus from being practical. Gen 3 represents the point where Tesla believes the robot can finally handle real-world environments on its own. But autonomy alone is not enough. A robot that works but cannot be produced at scale is useless. This is where Tesla's strategy stands out. Elon Musk has admitted that earlier versions of Optimus were extremely hard to manufacture. Many companies can build impressive prototypes. Very few can design robots that are ready for mass production. Tesla has a major advantage here. The company already builds electric motors, batteries, AI computers, cameras, and power electronics at massive scale for its vehicles. Optimus is made using these same systems. It is not built from rare or custom parts. It is built from components Tesla already knows how to produce efficiently. This is why the $10,000 cost is not just a bold claim. It is a result of Tesla's manufacturing experience. Each redesign of Optimus has not only improved performance, but also reduced part count and simplified assembly. These changes move the robot closer to mass production rather than small experimental runs. 
Another major challenge for humanoid robots is interaction with the physical world. Walking is important, but hands matter more. Human environments are designed for human hands. Optimus Gen 3 features hands with more than 20 degrees of freedom, allowing it to handle tools, fragile objects, and complex tasks. This level of dexterity opens the door to real usefulness. Tasks like folding clothes, preparing food, handling delicate items, or using everyday tools become possible. Elon Musk has even suggested that Optimus could play a musical instrument. This isn't for entertainment. It shows precision and control. Dexterity alone still isn't enough. Robots must adapt. Traditional robots are good at repeating tasks, but fail when conditions change. Tesla's solution mirrors its self-driving strategy. Instead of programming every movement, Optimus learns by watching. If a task can be shown on video, Optimus can potentially learn it. This changes everything. Robots no longer need complex setup or custom programming. The more Optimus observes, the more capable it becomes. It continues improving after deployment instead of becoming outdated. Power and endurance are also critical. Optimus Gen 3 is expected to use Tesla's advanced battery technology, allowing it to work for most of a full shift. It manages energy intelligently, using very little power when idle and scaling up only when needed. Even more importantly, it can recharge itself without human help. At this point, Optimus stops being just a tool and becomes a form of infrastructure. It can operate continuously in homes, factories, hospitals, and dangerous environments where humans should not work. The economic impact is massive. Elon Musk believes Optimus could be more productive than a human worker, not because it is faster, but because it doesn't get tired, doesn't need breaks, and doesn't forget skills. A robot that costs under $20,000 and produces consistent value could pay for itself very quickly. This is why Musk sees Optimus as a platform, not just a product. The market is not limited to homes or factories. It includes the entire global labor force. While household chores get the most attention, industrial and healthcare uses may be even more important. Tesla plans to begin selling Optimus in 2026, starting with internal use in its own factories as early as 2025. Thousands of robots could be deployed to perform real tasks, generating value while improving through constant learning. Elon Musk has suggested that long-term demand for humanoid robots could reach tens of billions of units worldwide. While timelines should always be viewed carefully, one thing is clear. Optimus is becoming the most important story at Tesla. Musk has even suggested that Optimus alone could push Tesla toward a valuation far beyond today's levels. While that may sound extreme, the logic becomes clearer when you consider Tesla's ability to build advanced robots cheaply and at scale. If Tesla succeeds, humanoid robots will no longer be rare, expensive machines. They will become everyday tools that change how work is done across the world. As Optimus Gen 3 moves closer to real-world deployment, the conversation is no longer about whether humanoid robots are possible. The question is how quickly they will become normal. When a machine can walk, see, learn, and work on its own, the impact goes far beyond technology. It begins to change economics, labor, and daily life in ways most people are not prepared for. One of the biggest misunderstandings about Optimus is that it is designed only for factories. In reality, factories are just the starting point. They provide a controlled environment where the robot can learn, improve, and operate at scale. Once Optimus proves itself there, expanding into homes, warehouses, hospitals, and public spaces becomes much easier. Inside a home, Optimus could handle time-consuming chores that many people struggle with every day. Cleaning, organizing, carrying heavy items, assisting elderly family members, 
and basic food preparation are all within reach. For aging populations, especially in countries facing labor shortages, a reliable household robot could dramatically improve quality of life. In warehouses and logistics centers, Optimus could move inventory, load packages, and manage repetitive tasks without fatigue. Unlike traditional industrial robots that must be bolted into fixed positions, Optimus can move freely and adapt to changing layouts. This flexibility allows businesses to redesign workflows around the robot rather than redesign buildings for machines. Healthcare is another area where the impact could be enormous. Optimus could assist nurses with lifting patients, transporting supplies, and monitoring basic conditions. This would reduce physical strain on healthcare workers and allow them to focus on tasks that require human judgment and compassion. In elder care facilities, robots could provide consistent assistance without replacing human interaction. There are also environments where humans simply should not work. Disaster zones, toxic industrial sites, and dangerous recovery operations are perfect use cases for a humanoid robot. Optimus can enter these areas without risking human life, perform inspections, move debris, and support rescue teams. In these situations, autonomy is not a luxury. It is essential. What makes Optimus different from previous robots is not just what it can do today, but how it improves over time. Because it learns from observation and experience, its skill set expands rather than becoming outdated. Each new task learned can be shared across the entire fleet through software updates. One robot learns, and millions benefit. This creates a powerful network effect. Unlike human labor, where skills are learned individually, robotic skills can scale instantly. A breakthrough in one factory can improve robots worldwide overnight. This alone changes the economics of productivity. Another critical advantage is consistency. Humans vary in performance based on fatigue, mood, and experience. Optimus performs tasks the same way every time. This reliability is extremely valuable in industries where precision and repeatability matter. Over time, this consistency can improve quality reduce errors, and lower costs. Of course, concerns about job displacement are unavoidable. Any technology that increases productivity raises questions about employment. However, history shows that automation often shifts work rather than eliminating it entirely. New roles emerge around supervision, maintenance, training, and system design. The challenge will be managing this transition responsibly. Elon Musk has acknowledged these concerns and believes that abundance, not scarcity, is the long-term outcome. If robots can produce goods and services cheaply, the overall cost of living could fall. This would fundamentally change how society thinks about work, income, and value. While this future raises difficult questions, it also presents enormous opportunities. Tesla's internal deployment strategy is crucial here. By using Optimus inside its own factories first, Tesla can refine performance, safety, and reliability before widespread release. This real-world testing provides feedback that no lab environment can match. It also allows Tesla to demonstrate real economic value rather than theoretical potential. As production scales, costs are expected to fall further. Early units may be expensive, but mass manufacturing has always been Tesla's strength. The same approach that reduced the cost of electric vehicles over time is now being applied to robotics. If successful, humanoid robots could become as common as home appliances. The long-term vision extends even further. Optimus could eventually operate as a personal assistant, adapting to individual preferences and routines. Over time, it could understand household patterns, anticipate needs, and provide support in subtle, helpful ways. This level of personalization moves robotics from utility into companionship, 
Though Tesla has emphasized usefulness over entertainment, what makes this moment different from previous robotics hype cycles is execution. Optimus is not a concept video or a lab experiment. It is already performing real tasks. The remaining challenge is scaling safely and affordably. Tesla's history suggests that once it solves manufacturing, adoption follows quickly. We are standing at the edge of a shift similar to the arrival of personal computers or smartphones. At first, they were expensive, limited, and misunderstood. Then, suddenly they were everywhere. Humanoid robots may follow the same path, and Optimus Gen 3 could be the device that starts that transition. The idea of a robot co-worker or household helper may feel uncomfortable or unrealistic today. But just a few years ago, the idea of fully autonomous cars or mass-market electric vehicles felt the same way. Technology tends to move slowly and then all at once. So as Optimus Gen 3 moves from development into deployment, the real story is not about a robot. It is about how humans choose to use it. Will it free people from dangerous, exhausting, and repetitive work? Will it improve quality of life and create new opportunities? Or will society struggle to adapt fast enough? That decision will shape the next era of technology. And now we want to hear from you. Would you trust a humanoid robot like Optimus in your home or workplace? What tasks would you want it to handle first? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss our next update on Tesla, AI, and the future of robotics. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.